You will hear a number of different recordings, and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions, and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. At the end of the test, you will be given ten minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section one. Section one. You will hear a conversation between a bank clerk called Jeanette and a man who is asking for information on investing money. First, you have some time to look at questions one to four. You will see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this example will be played first. This is Citibank. You're speaking with Jeanette. How may I help you today? Hi. Um, I'd like to ask a few questions about a term deposit. Certainly. Do you currently have any investments with us? The man is asking about term deposits. So term deposits has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to four. This is Citibank. You're speaking with Jeanette. How may I help you today? Hi. Um, I'd like to ask a few questions about a term deposit. Certainly. Do you currently have any investments with us? Yes, I do, but my term deposit is due to mature soon, and I've come to find out my options for renewing and extending it. I'm considering a range of different investments, to be honest, but I wanted to begin with the simplest option. Okay, sir. Well, before we begin, I just need to verify your ID. Can I have your name, please? David Marshall. That's M for mother. A R S H A L L. Thank you, David. Now, I just need to ask you a couple of security questions. What's your mobile phone number? 023-561055. And your date of birth, please? 18th of February, 1968. Right. So I've got your account information in front of me. You've currently got $18,000 on a term of 180 days. That's at a rate of 3.45% per year or per annum. Okay, so what are my options? Can we start by looking at one and two year terms? We can do that. Let's see. Right. If we put it on a one year term, we can offer you a yearly return of 3.65%. And for two years, it's 3.7%. Oh no, hang on. Sorry, we have a special deal on that term right now at 3.85%. Okay. So what does that mean in dollars? Just one moment and I'll bring it up. Okay, so the total interest earned would be $657 for one year and I'm just bringing up the two-year figure for you. A two-year term at 3.85% interest, that's a total of $1,412 interest on maturity. Right. That's about a $700 difference. Yes, a bit more actually. Okay. Oh, a friend of mine told me he gets his term deposit interest paid into his account every month. Do you have a monthly interest option? Yes, actually. We do offer that on term deposits, but only on investments of $20,000 or more. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 5 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 5 to 10.
Can I ask if you've considered a PIE as an alternative investment option? A PIE? Yes, it stands for Personal Investment Entity. It's an investment trust. Your earnings tend to be higher than they are for a term deposit because 28% is the maximum tax on those earnings. Okay, that sounds interesting. I've heard of those, but I've never really understood them. I thought they were called pies. They always sounded like something you eat. But I'd sure like to get a bigger slice of my investment pie. Well, with a PIE, your investment return changes depending on how much tax you normally pay. Oh, I see. Uh, according to my income bracket. Yes, that's right. For example, on a two-year plan, if you're earning in the range between $48,001 to $70,000 at 30% tax, there's a 3.75% effective rate on PIE earnings. Okay. I'm actually on a 33% tax rate. Well, that's an even better return. If you're earning between $70,001 and $120,000, the effective interest rate is higher too. So let's have a look for a two-year investment. Um, the rate actually goes up to 3.92%. Wow. Okay. So a PIE may be the better option. Better than a term deposit, I mean. And can I do that with an $18,000 investment? Yes. The minimum deposit for a PIE investment is $10,000. Okay. And are there any hidden charges? No. No fees at all for investing in a PIE. Well, that's good news. Oh, wait a minute. What about interest payment options? Is it the same as the term deposits? You have to have a minimum deposit to be eligible for monthly payments? Let me check the options here. Well, you'll be pleased to hear that there's actually more flexibility with PIEs than with term deposits. You can opt to have your interest paid every month, quarterly, six-monthly or yearly. Okay. Well, that's given me something to think about. Would you like to apply today? Uh, no. I'll have to think about it, thanks. Certainly. If you do decide to go ahead with it, applications are processed in two days, as long as you have a bank account with us, which you do. You can apply on our website, by phone, or pop into one of our branches. Great. Thanks for your help. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section 2.